Hi everyone, welcome back to MAJ Customs. I am Amanda, if you are new to our channel, but if you are not, welcome back. Welcome back everyone. Um, and again, thank you all for uh, everyone who's been following and just uh, subscribing and liking our videos. So let's get right into this video, y'all. Um, so I came across some sublimation popsicle holder blanks uh you can call them popsicle sleeves popsicle holder they are um reusable okay so you can reuse them um these i think are so cute because you can customize them however you would like so they're good for your little ones if uh their hands tend to get cold if your kids are like my kids my kids tend to grab a towel uh, what else do they use? They'll grab my pot holders whenever they have a popsicle because they say their hands uh, get too cold. Um, my five-year-old, he'll grab whatever. I mean, even if it's a sock, <laughs> he'll wrap it around his popsicle uh, just so his hands don't get cold. So I thought these were pretty cool, pretty neat for us to customize. And they all can have one of their own. And I purchased these, I believe, off Amazon. I will get the Full information for you guys though uh, at the end of the video so let's get right into this video so we can customize these popsicle sleeves okay so I'm gonna take you over to the computer I'm gonna show you all the images that I will be printing out and then we will see how they turn out like all right okay everyone so here we are we are in silhouette studios and I'm just showing you a few of the images that I decided to purchase I had this sonic one already for quite some time uh, I went in though and I purchased this one over here, this Super Mario Brothers. Um, I believe it was called Block. I think it's called Block Superhero or something like that on Etsy. And I also purchased this Baby Shark one. Let's see if I can flip it so you all can see it. I purchased this Baby Shark. My three-year-old loves Baby Shark. And then over here on the right hand side i also purchased the recent mermaid from the little mermaid uh image so i purchased this just for the fun of it to see how it turns out um i didn't pay no more than a dollar something for this these two images i think they were like a dollar fifty for the super marios and the baby shark and i believe the little mermaid may have just been a little more maybe two dollars three dollars so you can find all of these on etsy okay and now when I went to download, I purchased a bundle pack also of these, all the princess from Disney, okay? These were fun. I, let me see if I can remember. I think I paid $3.60 for the bundle for all the princesses. Um, the new one, she was not in there. She was not in this bundle, okay? Just so I clear that up before you all run and go purchase it thinking that the recent mermaid is in there. No, she's not. It is just all the recent um, Disney princesses. Cinderella, Belle, Tiana, um, I think it was Sleeping Beauty. Uh, so yeah, go on Etsy and you also can find this bundle as well. And again, you all know I've done it before. All I do is I download my image and all I have to do is drag it over into Silhouette Studios and it pops right on up, okay? So with that being said, do not forget to mirror your images, you all, before you print. And let me share the sizes I have. So for the Super Mario, I have 3.5 and that needs to be a little bigger. We'll probably go like 3.7 because what you want is it to wrap around your popsicle sleeve, okay? And for the Little Mermaid, I believe I also, she should be 3.7 also. Okay, so that way it's a perfect wrap around. You can add your children's names, whoever's names um, you're customizing these images for. You more than happy to customize these however you would like. Okay, so with that being said, mirror your image. I am going to print all these images out and then I will see you over by the heat press. Okay. Oh. Okay, everyone. So here go the images all printed out. Um, the baby shark. Sonic, of course, and over here I have the new mermaid, the little mermaid, <laughs> okay, and then I have the Super Mario um, block image, that's what I believe it was called, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead, when these print out, 
allow your images to completely dry you all because you have a chance to smearing your image i've mentioned that in videos before when um doing sublimation so mine have been sitting for a little bit and i'm going to go ahead and just cut them cut them um up and then i'll be back and show you how we're going to put them on the sublimation uh sleeve link okay okay everyone so i have my baby shark image let me move you're gonna need a heat resistant glove to remove um your popsicle holders off the heat press i used the paper cutter right here to cut my images you all okay and then here goes the little mermaid and the super mario brother okay so now all i'm going to do is for the little mermaid i'm going to place this right in the middle because i want her in the middle okay and then i'm going to just fold this over in hopes that <laughs> it meets up in the middle okay all right so we should be good just like that and now I'm just going to use my heat resistant tape and I'm going to take this one down. Okay. Let me get it up here so y'all can see. I'm just going to take this one down just like that because I want her for sure in the middle. Okay. I'm going to close the ends because you don't want it to move again we're going to flip these okay and then the same thing for the super mario um with super mario because it is just the um same image um throughout the whole piece we can just place it on there and we can just close him like to the edge just like this we can close it like that all right and place our tape on the edge here okay so you just place it in there like that all right this is the closed part stitched and then i'm just going to take the heat resistant tape you all and just close it just want to close it make sure you secure it real good okay so you can pretty much tape these up um however you like whatever floats your boat depending on you know i guess how you know what image you're going with all right so i'm just taping it up going all the way up okay just like this okay so I'm going to put one on the top and the bottom. Again, I don't want it to move. Okay, so I'm just closing it off. And that's the second one. And then we have the baby shark. So this one can be, it can, you can wrap it around. I guess this one, it won't even matter. Doesn't even really matter how you do this one. So I'll just go ahead and place it in like this and then I'll just fold it over. Okay, and we'll close it. Okay, so we're closing it and then same thing I'm just going to go along and tape it just trying to close it okay you don't want you don't want it to be open right here and if you want to make your image a little bigger you are more than welcome to do so if you feel that this is not giving you enough room to close okay so I'm gonna go ahead and finish taping this one off and then I will be back and we'll be over at the heat press and we'll get ready to press these, okay? Okay, everyone. So here go my sublimation sleeves with the images all taped up. And now we are going to lay these down. Make sure your sheet is clean. Um, I have a little ink mark up here from when I did my first one. So just make sure your butcher paper is clean, no ink. Again, we are going to flip these we're going to press them for the first time and then we'll flip them and press them a second time so i'm going to press these at 400 degrees for 60 seconds okay and make sure you have your uh heat resistant glove uh you don't want to burn your hand when it's time to flip them all right so i'm gonna go ahead 
close this we got a countdown to 60 seconds i will be back right when it gets down to five seconds and show you all that i flipped them and then uh do the second press okay three two one all right so the first side is pressed now we are going to flip them make sure you don't put them over the ink because you will have some ink left so move them out the way okay all right so mine are good right there and now i'm going in for the second press 60 seconds 400 degrees and then i'll be back when it gets down to five all right here we go three two one and again be careful because they are extremely hot i'm going to move you all back so i can um put these out okay whoops all right, so let's pull you up. Here goes one, two, three. All right, so. All right, right there. Okay, so I thought I had y'all. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I'm just going to take my scissors and cut and cut i'm just going to go down the middle please make sure you don't catch the sleeve the popsicle sleeve all right look at this it's ariel oh my god you guys that is cute that's the back okay so let's do the other ones okay i'm gonna cut open the top or cut off the top whoops Make sure we do not get that sleeve. That's our Super Mario Brothers. Look at that. All right. And then this last one is Baby Shark. Oh my gosh. Okay, I should have put Baby Shark this way, but oh well, it still came out cute. So pay attention to the name if you all do it. Um, make sure the baby shark is across this way and not across the stitch way. But it still came out cute. Yay! Look at that, y'all. Okay, everyone. Here they all are. Again, with the popsicles inside. You all, this is a great solution to your kids' hands not getting cold and freezing anymore i think these are pretty cute and awesome yeah i am very impressed i'm not even gonna lie i'm very impressed at how they came out if you all could see they came out so clear so if you all like this video this tutorial um i really like the way she came out she came out really good if, and i mean this is you see, I can't stop smiling, right? So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I just love seeing um, my work come together. You know, like when it's always your first time doing something and it comes out way better than what you think it's going to come out. That's why I just can't stop smiling. A lot of times in the videos when I see the end results because I'm always surprised at myself, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, again, you guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video, okay? Stay blessed. Bye.